today we will see something different. This channel is not only about electronics, but uh, I like to build uh, everything and the mechanical parts too. I'm interested in uh, electromechanical device too, so I have a lathe and a mill and uh, you can make uh, many things with these machines. I will use it uh, in uh, electronics project too. I have in mind a lot of projects that include uh, mechanical parts like uh, uh, printers. Uh, today we will see how to make uh, a late stop. Here I show you a little trick that I learned in school many years ago. Do the tracing in the metal and uh, punch holes. These holes will serve to cut thick layers of metal. This is how we do. The holes will be drilled so you can cut uh, a thick metal without too much effort if you don't have uh, a bend saw or another suitable uh, machine to cut thick metal. Just uh, drill first in the corners. This is aluminum so it's uh, soft. I start from the corners then I drill all the other holes. As you can see now we have drilled all the holes so it will be more easy to cut through a thick sheet of metal even with an axe saw you can cut through the holes without cut all the metal here I'm using a smaller axe saw to reach the corners. I made the bigger holes in the corners so I can uh, turn the blade. As you can see, this is the cutoff of the part. You can use a file too to finish the job, but uh, if you have a milling machine, this is a very easy step. because you can mill the excess of material. Dimensions are not critical in this design, so I use the blued part as a reference. The most difficult part is the V-shape here, that go in the V-way of the lathe. My milling machine have a tiltable column, as you can probably see here in the background, but I prefer think at the fixture instead of tilting the column of the milling machine. This is very difficult because we are reaching the tip of the V groove, so I cannot use this big end mill to do this job. And this is the result. Unfortunately, I made a wrong uh, maneuver, so I decided to get rid of the V groove and make uh, a square slot. This is not a big problem for me, and the piece stays uh, in the right position. I'm now making the part that clamp this uh, micrometer stop on the way of the lathe it will be something like this that clamp this part underneath the way I make this part from an old radiator of power supply always use uh, recovered parts to make uh, other parts rarely I throw something in the garbage for this reason I really like to give new life to old piece of metal that will be another way throw in the garbage. Now I'm finishing up the clamp just to reach the appropriate dimension, the same width of the main part. I have to say this mill is cheap but uh, you can do a lot of things with this machine. You have only to accept the precision that this machine offers and you don't have to push its limits. This is the finished clamp. You can see 
here, it's more clear, this is the clamping action. I have drilled the hole for the micrometer and now I'm cutting a slot with a slit saw to clamp the micrometer. This is the part I have uh, fixed the retaining screw for the micrometer. You can see it clamps the micrometer in this hole and under you can see the, the other uh, part that clamps uh, the whole assembly. Now I will drill the hole that uh, force the clamp to retain the piece uh, on the bed of the lathe. Some tapping action on the clamp, the screw go through the entire piece and uh, it will screw on the on this part to make the clamping action on the way of the lathe. Okay, this is uh, the finished part. As you can see, we have a screw here that forces this uh, part to block the, the stop of the lathe. Now we'll try this part on the lathe. As you can see, it fits very well. Even without the V slot, I found that uh, it works perfectly, so I decide to leave it the piece like that. It's very steady. You put the micrometer here, clamp the micrometer. It has to be not too tight but blocked. And now you can set the position of the carriage. You can zero the micrometer and now you're ready for turning on a shoulder.